This is Night Lavelle and you've tuned into Hot New Hip Hop. Very good question. Um, like I've just been trying to like be very patient with um, my artistic side and not rushing things. There was a, like a whole year of me like I was making music, but I really just didn't want to put any of it out because I didn't find that like that thing, you know what I mean? So finally that thing or whatever came together like probably like seven months ago and I just track after track after track. We did a festival in Wuha that was sick. Uh, it's in uh, uh, Netherlands near Amsterdam. Okay. Yeah. Uh, cities like Russia, of course, like Moscow has always been like fucking crazy. Um, I had a show in Ukraine before. We had an Australian tour. I, I sold out a Sydney show. That was fucking crazy. Um, first time I've been to Australia, it was sick. Uh, Melbourne and we did uh, New Zealand was sick too. Like, okay, Russia, like I really didn't understand how they even knew how I was because I didn't like see them like commenting at first, but stuff's very like, the internet is very separate. Yeah. So when we were there, I was like, oh, and then you guys fuck with my shit. Um, so pretty much it's like, it's a play on words. Um, Night Lavelle, my name, so good night, Lavelle. Um, basically, the whole album is like, um, each album is a dream, so it's like starts from me falling asleep to me waking up. So it's like you're saying good night to Lavelle. And then it all kind of, you know what I mean? And then the last song is me waking up, so every track at home. Track yeah, home. in the basement. This album is very, very much um, a ginseng production album. He pretty much did like all the, like that's one of the things too. Like, of course, like production is my first love, but I kind of wanted to experiment with other people too. Like, I don't know, I just wanted to see where that would take me. And Jinxon's like the only person that kind of took me out of that like, ah, oh, no one's sending me beats that I like and shit. So he sent me like pack after pack after pack, like shout out to Jinxon. And there's a few other producers on there, but yeah, it was just um, like, it just gets, I don't know, like, it, it gets kind of dark sometimes, especially when you're going through a time where you don't really have that, um, that like artistic like drive to do certain things. You start kind of second guessing yourself, or are the fans gonna fuck with what I put out, blah, blah, blah. Um, so yeah, every track, like, I just like, if it's a, like, like, to put it simple, if it's a nightmare, it's dark. If it's like an okay, weird dream, the song is fucking weird. If it's a happy dream, then the song is happy. But it, I just wanted to capture like what I dream about. <laughs> Yeah. And it ends with the sun. It ends with the sun. So that's that's when I wake up. Just like when you hear the word the sun, you think of something a little brighter. Mm -hmm. So were you trying to end with that kind of note? Yeah, because that was me coming out of sleep. Sun's rising. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and then what about mental slavery? Can you kind of talk about the inspiration for that one? Um, literally, that came out of nowhere, to be honest. Um, that was uh, Ginseng on production with Ryan Jacob, Key World. Yeah, they sent me that. He's from Australia too, Ryan Jacob. Yeah, they sent me that beat and I literally recorded that in like two seconds. Like those words are literally what came to mind. Like, I don't know, you probably haven't heard the track yet, but um, I was like, Lil Wes is the only person that could fit on this. So I hit him up right away. And then he literally did like background vocals, like filler vocals, like everything. So, oh, I want to keep that vague. Yeah, let's keep that vague. Yeah, let the fans figure that out. Uh, that's like a play on Ottawa. So he's the same guy that did, I'm just going to say anonymous. He's the same guy that did uh, the voice note in Still Cold. He's the same one that did Boy Red. He just pops up everywhere. So he just kind of, whatever track I'm trying to create, he does voice notes to kind of like fit to that track. And that was like an Ottawa type thing. I can't, like, I don't, you have to keep it organic. Like, if it was like, if I, it, maybe there would be no features on the album. Like if it sounds like it fits then I'll send it, but like, it really has to fit. Like, and, and I still kept it kind of low. Like I don't like too many features cause I really want it to be like about me as much as possible. So, so we got, we got Lil West, uh, uh, Wi Fi's funeral and Lil Nar, AKA Nar. So, um, yeah, it just came about cause it, like I literally only heard them on the song. So. I sent it and I was like, I hope they fuck with it. And then I'm not signed to no label. So that's like a thing where you're not trying to ever sign. Um, I'm not gonna say that. Like, if like I'm, I've always been that type of person that if um, the situation and the circumstances are right, then let's work. But I just don't feel the need to kind of 
like have a label fully own me right now. Everyone has their own different way of doing things. It just, this has worked for me. So I, I like, I'm already working on new shit. Ginseng's already sending new beats. Like I just want to drop music after song, after song, after song, after song, all fucking year. Tours, videos, Europe tour coming up, America tour, Canada, like just everyone has to see my face.